Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Sajid, and you're watching my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to study JavaScript search methods. And this we are going to do uh, for strings. Yeah. So there are different methods. Uh, some of them are like. Uh, string index of last index of starts with and ends with right so let's start with the index of method and see how it works okay so the index of method returns index of the position of the first occurrence of a specified text in a string yeah for example here we have a string str and uh, it's like text is please locate where locate occurs and we want to know index of locate so it will tell us the position from where this locate uh, starts right and it will start counting from zero like p is location zero then zero one two three four five six seven like this okay and let's try this example when we are doing this example we have this uh, <laughs> our javascript code here in this example and this is our string let's str str and then we have document.get element by added diamond dot inner is equal to uh, string dot index of locate and the output will be uh, displayed by this uh, paragraph tag whose ID is demo right so in this case you know as we just said index of method tells you the location where the text starts so locate is starting from index 7 that's why we have on the right side you can see the answer is 7 yeah so this 7 is output from this method str dot index of locate okay so i hope this is clear to you now let's look at the second method which is last index of the last index of method returns index of the last occurrence of a specified text in a string for example here we have as you see the same text and we are trying to find now locate with last index of method and when we in our last example when we tried to find uh, index of locate it was 7 because it was first occurrence but now we have the second occurrence in this uh, string which is this locate so let's see what is the answer now so this time you can see this method str last index of locate give answer 21 because it is giving uh, the last occurrence last occurrence is here so if we count from p up to this locate we will see this is the position 21 okay right so both index of and last index of return minus 1 if the text is not found okay as we see here we are trying to find the text john in this string and as you can see there is no john in it so the answer is negative one as here okay right so next we see both method except the second parameter as the starting position for the search so before we have seen a string index of with just locate and now we are adding this 15 so 15 means where the starting position is to find the uh, you can say index of this text locate so as you know see the answer now the answer is 21 this 21 is location of this second locate in this text or string so when we find index of locate starting from location 7 or index 7 right then the uh, look uh, 
then the index of locate becomes 21 when we count from left side from p which is z uh, zero uh, uh, index and then we have one two three four five six we count it becomes 21 okay right similarly last index of method search is backward this is important concept from the end of the beginning from the end to the beginning right meaning if the second parameter is 15 the search starts at position 15 and searches to the beginning of the string right so here we see this uh, last index of locate is 7 right okay so what's happening uh, this method last index of start searching the last index from position 15 to backwards so from here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 12 13 14 15 right so from here backward it will try to find where is the index of locate and as you know from left side it started at location 7 so our answer is 7 right fine I think this concept is clear to you last index of when we have this parameter of 15 it tries to search the locate this this value from uh, position 7 uh, position 15 backward which become position uh, 7 okay which is the in last index of this value locate okay after this we have this method search uh, for strings javascript string search javascript string search so, so search method search is a string for a specific value and it returns the position of the match so here we have this string the same string which we are using in this chapter by now and then we have str dot search the gate and see the answer the answer is seven and this is similar answer which we were getting with uh, method index of right so which tells us where this locate is starting okay so did you notice the two methods index of and search are equal they accept the same parameter value and return the same value the two methods are not equal actually they are different and what are the differences number one the search method cannot take a second start position argument okay while the index of method cannot take powerful search values regular expressions so now you understand in search method we don't have a start position argument and in index of method we don't we cannot use regular expressions so right so for regular expressions you will learn more in detail in an upcoming chapter where we will have a dedicated chapter on this topic so now let's look at uh, another method which is called match okay the match method searches a string for a match against a regular expression and it turns the matches as an array object okay so let's look at this example we are saying we have this over string now we have a new string called the rain in Spain stays mainly in the plane so text dot match and we will trying to find a i n global load slash g this is our regular expression and we are searching a i n in the whole string wherever it's uh, occurring and the result will be an array of all the occurrences right so as you can see we have ain in this first letter first word rain then we have in spain ain but see this ain is capital so it will not be considered then we have ain in main and then we have ain in plane so we have three ains so let's see here here is our method when it is run to find out a i n in this string 
it returns AIN, AIN, AIN. It says it means it's occurring three times. So we have three times occurring of AIN in this string. And this is the result from method match. Okay, so we have seen that if a regular expression does not include the G modifier, the, as we've seen in our example, this this G modifier to perform a global search, the match method will return only the first match in the string. Okay, so we have this is the syntax of our method called uh, match method string dot math regular expression regular expression. This is required the value to search for as a regular expression and return an array containing the matches one item for each match or no if no match is found okay so here we see now we are uh, writing one regular expression with like uh, g and i it means g is for global search okay and this modifier i i is here to indicate case in case insensitivity so when we our search becomes case insensitive we will find four ain in this ain this ain ain and ain right okay so let's see uh, the output this is our method text.match ain slash ain and we have four times AIN, 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 AIN. This AIN is from this let capital letter verb spin. Okay. Right. So let's look at the next method which JavaScript string includes. And includes method returns true if a string contains a specific value. So here we have a string. Hello world, welcome to the universe and here we are using if or checking if word is present in this string if it is then the answer will be true so as you can see our answer is true from this method text dot includes okay because the world this world is present in this text uh, or string hello world welcome to the universe right so the answer is uh, sorry the answer is true so here we have the syntax for this uh, method called includes so we have to tell search value and start position from where this uh, search should start right and this returns true if the string contains the value otherwise false okay and this was introduced in javascript in 2015 in ES6 so check if uh, here we're checking if string includes a word starting the search at position 12 so when we start the search at position 12 we know that there is no word after the world is not present after index location 12 it is before that so the answer will be false right okay so if we look at the browser support include is uh, an es6 feature and it is supported in all modern browsers however includes is not supported in internet explorer okay so next now look at next method which is javascript string starts with start with method returns true if a string begins with a specified value otherwise false so here see here we have our string hello world welcome to the universe and it starts with hello and the answer is true and here is our method right okay fine so here is the syntax of uh, string method uh, starts with method we have to give search value and the start position and the answer will be true so here we have this example in this example we can see in first uh, st in all example we are using the same string hello world welcome to the universe the first one returns true false 
because it doesn't start with the word it starts with hello and next one welcome to the we are trying to find a string starts with the word a word world starting from index 5 so this is also false because the world starts from index 6 you see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so next we have let text hello world welcome to the universe text dot starts with world 6 this returns true because the string starts with this uh, these characters or word word at location 6 okay starts with method is case sensitive this we should know and browser support this was also introduced in 2015 and it is supported by all modern browsers but not supported by internet explorer next method is javascript string ends with the ends with method returns true if a string ends in the specific value otherwise folds so here you see we have a string john doe and text or end with doe because it's end with doe the answer should be true right and here is our method okay here is the same text end with search is value search value and length okay the length are to search okay this is optional right here we have check if the 11 first characters of a strings and with word so let's see now we have to search world and we need to see the first 11 you can say a characters and with this word world or not so the answer is true right so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So H to D, we have 11 characters. And the word is the one which is at the end. So this string ends with world and within the length of 11 uh, characters starting from the left. Right, so this also is supported by all modern browser except uh, Internet Explorer and ends with method was also introduced in 2015 in ES6. So I'll wind up my video here. We have uh, learned many methods to search uh, a value in JavaScript strings and they return different type of answers in different type of situations. So right, so if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section if you like the video share with your friends and colleagues and subscribe our channel i'll be back with uh, another video very soon till that time take care bye bye and allah hafiz